that's good, isn't it? That's a good one. Spread your clothes as far and wide as possible at your own expense. You must discard four items of clothing that you're currently wearing. Farthest and widest winds. You have 30 minutes, your time starts now. <laughs> four <laughs> items. So I just dump me clothes? Well, it's a discard, but whatever. As far and wide, so they've got to go in opposite directions. Yeah, I mean, essentially, I wanted to mark my territory with your clothes. <laughs> so we're looking for an, an enormous shape with four corners made of clothes, and they've got the whole of London to play with. All of London they could use. Well, they only had half an hour, but we did film this in London, so... Uh... Any part of London. Good. Let's see how Paul got on. Ready? <laughs> and as wide as possible. Just please. So we'll start with one sock. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put the other one in the other corner. How the other ones over there. If we can get that plane to take off, I can get it even further. as possible, that was. You know that if you throw a sock over a fence, it's still just the other side of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see where it landed. What, the sock? Yeah, I chucked it over the fence. Unless you did some sort of martial arts throw, and it, like, <laughs> I mean, it was just the other side of the fence. Yeah, but when you twist your hand, it gives it a spin, <laughs> and it kind of... <laughs> it's probably still travelling now. <laughs> What did you think were the chances of that plane flying with your fucking sock wrap round? <laughs> Pretty high. High? I wouldn't have tried it. So you think... <laughs> I thought, no, I, I thought if you put the sock on it, I put it in the place where it could have still flown. So when you see all those nerds at weekends at Flying Club putting their models and getting them absolutely perfect, the last thing they always do is stick a sock on it. <laughs> I just want to say a quick thank you to Paul for being extraordinary. In fact, to express this gratitude, We've set Paul his own special task. <laughs> have the most fun on this bouncy castle. You have one hour. <laughs> one hour? <laughs> Your time starts now. I fucking love him. <laughs> Who's next? Well, uh, we're going to have a look at Sarah and Dave and see if they left the house. <laughs> Come on, then. Put this bit of wood inside my sock so that it goes out to the middle of the river 
Yes? And then we can watch it drift away. That's it. Yeah. There she goes. If I gave you a sock to put in your pocket, would you take it with you to the end of your journey? Can do. And whereabouts is the end of your journey? Uh, East Chi. OK. I appreciate no your help. Thank no you. Godspeed. No Thanks, mate. Thank you. How are we doing time-wise? Halfway. Oh, great. There's no batteries. Right. Well, I might as well walk this way for a little bit, then. There's no bus coming. Thanks, Sarah Fasco. Your response to a task is just to run, run fast. <laughs> I take everything very literally. My favourite bit of the whole tape was, uh, I don't know what it meant, the yeah that you did after you put a piece of wood in your sock and chucked it in the tub. <laughs> she went, mean? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I felt really great about it. <laughs> I felt like that's what our ancestors would have done if they needed something to go really far away. But you went in an exact straight line for 1.6 miles. Oh. Wow. So we are trying to look for an area, but it's... Am I being stupid? Are you saying that Sarah ran with her sock down the Thames? Well, she sort of ran... It was bobbing no. along. I mean, it was going slower than Sarah, but it was bobbing alongside But, but it's still probably going out to sea now, which is the important thing for this task. <laughs> Even though you had a time, a time limit, you think you've yeah. taken the moral victory. <laughs> oh! Oh! So it doesn't matter how far the sock went. <laughs> I've just got what we were supposed to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> now it makes sense. Exactly. Well, okay. that sort of explains your Forrest Gump reaction to tasks. There, <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dave, you uh, you'd, you used some clothes mules. Yeah. 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 I, I I got a bus. Yeah. And then got off the bus, leaving a sock. Yeah. There. So that travelled. Yeah. And Lovely. Yeah. All yeah. makes perfect sense. You got a round of applause when you got on a bus yeah. using uh, yeah. public transport. Very impressive. None of this quite explains why you took a knife to one of your shirts. <laughs> <laughs> because we were doing four items of clothing and I split one of my four in two so that they could go in opposite directions, so I had five nodes to play with instead of four to give me further breadth. Well, it's not an item of clothing, half a shirt, unless you're howling mad. No. <laughs> But if one half of a shirt is here and one half of a shirt is there, your that naked. shirt is spread. It's a broken shirt. It's no, <laughs> it's no longer an item of clothing. It's like when David Banner turns into the Hulk. It's he exactly like put that. The Hulk's shirt that... back on. Yeah. It's they two pieces of a shirt. You can't. I, I would say that shirt has been spread, and I think their reaction to hearing it says that they agree with me. That yeah. shirt has been spread. <laughs> uh, what a shame they have no power. <laughs> he did use the word. <laughs> Did you use the word nodes? Yeah, I did. You did yeah. use nodes, and that I almost yeah. got, me, got me back on side. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Dave Gorman's in the lead. Next up, Rob and Al, and we've grouped them together because they did similar things. Here we go. You got your van? I've got my van. Can we go for a drive? Request taxi. So you, two of you go, right, one with the jacket, one with the hat, right, and then we'll do the similar in another direction when I figure out how to order a second taxi. It's the and wide that's the problem. You've got 28 minutes and 15 seconds okay, left. Okay, let's go. Left out of here, mate. Okay. Here he comes. Good luck. Fly like the wind. Right. Okay. Oh, I don't know this area. You for hire. Aha! <laughs> so towards Richmond or towards the southwest? Towards Richmond, please. The first exit. And just over there on the right by that Fiat, please. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, just, so, just drop it out the window? If you want, yeah. Is that <laughs> discarded, isn't it? Right. OK. Socks gone? Socks are gone. My bum came out then. 
if we could stop in 30 seconds, that'd be brilliant. And five, four, three, two, one, stop. <laughs> Gone, yeah, no trousers anymore, mate. It's more my pants. I mean, you are the naughtiest boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd always been warned of getting into like a van with a man with a beard with no trousers on, but it was great. <laughs> yeah. Such fun, didn't yeah, we? Alex? We had a lot of listening, kids. <laughs> Al, mm. uh, throwing cash at the problem. Yeah. Yeah. There were three different vehicles involved. My taxi cost 60 quid, which is, a, you know, you could buy a sofa. I'm selling a sofa at the moment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sixty pounds. <laughs> what it did well was three. The, the clothes went <clears throat> in different directions at the same time. You paid a man to just walk with some clothing. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. You're going to be on a loss at the end of this series. The amount of money you spent on. Yeah. What price, Glory? <laughs> Currently three hundred and forty pounds. <laughs> well, have we got some statistics or what? Uh, yes. Do you want to see? It? Well, what I've done, I've plotted it on a map. It's my sort of thing. So we can see the distances covered here. <laughs> We're going to look at Sarah's first wall in green. Uh, it's quite narrow, so it's a total of... <laughs> 0 0.02 square miles. Then we've got Dave's in blue. Uh, it's a more of a shape. It's 0 0.3 square miles. And in red, we've got Rob's. 2.7 oh. square miles. And finally, in purple, nearly finally, in purple, uh, Al Murray, 6.2 square miles. Bam! Bam. And wait, wait. We're going to zoom in. In pink. In <laughs> Paul Chowdhury's clothes covering 0 0.0001 <laughs> square miles, pretty much the same as his clothes. Yeah, chuck it over a, <laughs> chuck it over a fence, stick it on a plane. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Al Murray was the winner of the task. <laughs>